Hey, I'm Mike Mouse 74, and you're watching Mike Mouse 74's Transformers video reviews on YouTube. For the Transformers community, please subscribe to Mike Mouse 74. Hey, what's going on, Musketeers? Might Mouse 74 with a Transformers video review. From the new Transformers Combiner Wars, this is Decepticon Drag Strip. So, on the back, up here, all it really says is Ruthless Decepticon Racer. Then it shows Drag Strip in his robot mode, his racer mode. Here it says it takes nine steps. Then here it says it becomes an arm or a leg. Then here it shows you can build using Drag Strip, Skydive, Silver Bolt, Alpha Bravo, and Firefly. So that about does it for the box. Without further ado, let's get Decepticon Dragstrip out of here and see what he's all about. Okay, so here we have Dragstrip in his racer mode. So he does come with a couple of accessories. You can use this as a gun or a sword. He also comes with a foot or you can use this as a hand. There's a fist just on the inside. So for the details of Dragstrip, it looks like he has just a little bit of a glossy finish look to it. He also has just a little bit what looks like some Indian red paint details here on the other side and some up here by the spoiler, a stripe along the front, he has a Decepticon logo right there and a little touch of silver paint details towards the back. So to get to the limb mode we're going to go to the leg first. So on the back of drag strip right here you want to lift this up just like that. With the front end, you want to unpeg this very carefully and then rotate this all the way around like this. There's a peg right there and a peg hole underneath. You just want to peg that together just, just like that. And then with the head, you can just push the head back all the way. And this piece can be a little bit tricky. You want to bring this all the way up and push it all the way up like that. And then you can grab the foot. There's a peg right there and a peg hole right there. You want to plug this in there just like that. And there you have a leg. So to transform drag strip into his robot mode, again, you want to take the front end of the vehicle, you want to unpeg that very carefully, and rotate this all the way around. There's a peg right there and a peg hole right there. Just plug these guys together just like, like that. And then you can even rotate the head around. With the arms, you can bring the arms all the way up. Like that, do the same thing on the other side. Just bring the arm all the way up, and then you can bring this all the way down, and then spin it at the waist all the way around, just like that. With the arms, you can just bend at the elbow, you can bring the fist out, and then do the same thing on the other side. You can bend at the elbow, bring the fist out, just like so. Then with the legs, all you have to do is separate. And here you have Drag Strip in his robot mode. So here's just an up close face shot of the head sculpt. So for Dragstrip's weapon, there's holes in each of the fist, one there, one on the other side. So we can go ahead and grab the weapon and plug it into Dragstrip's fist, just like that. So to get to the arm mode for Superion or Menasaur, it's almost like you want to go back to vehicle mode. So just go ahead and plug the legs together. Just give that a good squeeze, make sure it's locked in nice and tight. And then with the fist, you want to fold the fist back in, do the same on the other side, fold the fist back in, and kind of straighten out the elbows. And then with the head, you want to rotate the head back and push it all the way back like that, spin at the waist. And then this piece is a little bit tricky. You want to bring it out, but not all the way. Just bring it halfway out like that with the arms. You want to rotate the arms all the way up and spin at the elbow and then, and then bend it just like that. And I think it's supposed to I think it's supposed to go something like this, rotate the other arm, and then spin at the elbow, like this, and then 
with the fist, you go ahead and bring the fist all the way out, bring this out like this, and this becomes a thumb. Just bend that like that. And there's a peg hole right there. And plug that in just like so. And here you have an arm for Menosaur or Superion. So the transform drag strip back to his racer mode from here. Again, just peg the legs in nice and tight. Just give that a good squeeze, make sure it's locked into place. And then you can rotate at the hips all the way around. And then just push it up and make sure that's locked into place just like that. With the fist, you can go ahead and tuck them in. Do the same thing on the other side. Just tuck in the fist up like this, then straighten out the elbow, and then bring this all the way down like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Just straighten out the elbow, and then bring the arm all the way down, just like so. And then you can go ahead and rotate the head, just like that. So the last thing you wanna do with the front end here, you wanna unpeg that from the back, and there's two little grooves on the other side, so you wanna rotate this all the way around, and you wanna slot that into place just like that, and here you have drag strip back into his racer mode. So I think that's gonna wrap things up. This is Mike Mouse 74, and you've just seen from the new Transformers Combiner Wars, this is Decepticon Drag Strip. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformers community. Stay tuned for lots more reviews to come. Join me and all my friends in my Facebook group called The Mouse Trap. You can also follow me on Twitter. I also have a Might Mouse 74's community. I also have a Might Mouse 74's Facebook page. If you guys could give that a like, that would be awesome. All the links will be in the description down below. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as always, guys, take care, everyone. Thank you.